Welcome to the poor man's retro game room. And you know, when the uh, Neo Geo Mini came out, a lot of people were pretty disappointed in it. Um, I actually like this device, but I do not use it the way it was intended to be used. So what I actually do is I connect this device to my CRT Sony Trinitron, right back there, and I play it on a CRT TV. <laughs> um, I did get it, and I, I have connected it HDMI to an HD TV before, and it's not perfect. Um, it's not near as good as the uh, Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro if you're going to play it on an HD TV. I recommend go ahead and spend the extra 40, 50 bucks and get the Arcade Stick Pro and use it. Um, it's it's a much better device. And um, but anyway, this Neo Geo Mini, and, and you probably heard some bad things about it, but it's around 69. I think it's either 59 or 69 dollars on Amazon right now. Um, it's a pretty good buy. There's a lot of really good games on it. And uh, what I wanted to show you today is uh, what it looks like on a CRT TV and how I connect it to a CRT TV. Um, I, I've mentioned this in a few of my uh, game room tour videos and I've had a few questions come up. Uh, how do you do that? Well, it's, it's really easy and it's really cheap. So this is the way I do it. There's probably better ways and more expensive ways to do it. Um, but I use a little adapter. I got this off of Amazon for around 12 bucks. Um, it does take its own little USB power source right here on the side. Uh, to power it up. But what it does is it converts an HDMI signal to a regular RC or video audio jack uh, signal for a CRT TV. And um, I've actually had really good luck with it. Now there's a few uh, things that you gotta kind of consider if you're gonna do that. Uh, you might have to get into your service menu and kind of reshape the, uh, the aspect a little bit. Um, if you're comfortable doing that, and it might just show up, it might show up fine on your TV. Um, but it did tend to cut like the top and the bottom off, so I had to kind of go in the service menu and just kind of shrink the, the picture a little bit. That's easy to do, you can find instructions online how to do it. Um, make sure that you, you feel comfortable before you do that, because <laughs> you can mess things up. So uh, make sure you're really comfortable uh, doing that, and I do not... Uh, recommend or take any <laughs> I, I don't take any responsibility of anything that, that might happen to your HD or, or CRT TV if you do get in the service menu um, but I also use the uh, Neo Geo pad and and I'll tell you what uh, these things kind of got railed on a little bit too um, the thing to know about these uh, pads you can get them for pretty cheap I think still on Amazon um, that is actually analog, it's not a clicky stick. Um, and the buttons are, are different, it's a little different layout than the original Neo Geo uh, CD controller. You know, the controllers used to come with the CD, the Neo Geo CD, and uh, you know, it looks exactly like it, but it, it's not quite the same, so don't, you know, make sure you know that before you purchase that. Um, but I use that, I connect my, uh, my Neo Geo Mini, like I said, to the uh, Sony Trinitron, and I play it that way. So I kind of wanted to show you a little bit, uh, you know, how that looks. So I, I did my best to kind of capture some CRT footage of the Neo Geo Mini. Um, keep in mind that, you know, when you're capturing CRT footage, it's never perfect. And there's a little blur, but that's with my camera. It looks flawless. It plays smooth um, on my CRT TV. It is an option. I've had a few questions come up because uh, I did mention that in a few other my uh, uh, few other videos that I did um, that I actually play the mini on a CRT. Well, that's how I do it. Uh, just this little little adapter. Um, but anyway, so without further ado, let's take a look at how it looks on a CRT TV. All right, so let's take a take a look at uh, how the Mini actually looks on a CRT. <laughs> and just remember, just keep in mind that it's it's not easy capturing a CRT with a, with a camera pointed at the TV. Um, you're going to see a little more blur and uh, it looks a little washed out I'm sure. There's a, a huge selection and you can look at all the games that are included on the Mini 
Uh, there's a lot of really good games on the Mini. So we're gonna try out some Metal Slug here. That's kind of the Metal Slug. one of the most popular games on the Neo Geo and uh, the Neo Geo Arcade back in the day. I don't own an AES anymore, I used to, um, but to me the colors look accurate. Here. Um, of course, I would rather play this on a real AES, on real hardware, but uh, the Mini sure does a really good job uh, as far as when it's connected to a CRP. You don't see the, the soft image that you do with the Mini on the uh, HD TV. You know they did a lot of right things, a lot of a lot of good things. They did a lot of things right with the the main, um, but the image quality just isn't good. They didn't allow you to remap the buttons. Um, you know, there's there's certainly some downsides to the mini. It's not a perfect device at all. But if you're on a budget and you have a, a CRT TV, um, it's a really good way to experience the AGO. I'm not, uh, I'm not able to be, you know, one of those guys that, that <laughs> says that uh, there's a right or wrong way to play the Neo Geo. Um, the preferred way, of course, would like be maybe the arcade stand-up machine, the Big Red, or the, you know, the AES connected to a, uh, a CRT, or maybe upscale to an HD TV. I don't know. I, I don't do any of the upscaling. I, Play games the way I used to play them back in the day. Uh, when it comes to my old consoles, you know, I just uh, hook them up to a CRT TV and play it, man. You can you can really spend a lot of time, and a lot of people I think have fun trying to get that best image quality out of their old consoles on an HD TV, and that's all cool, man. Um, but it, it's a big rabbit hole that you can go down and. At some point, I just kind of like got past that and it's, it's like, man, let's just play. Let's play the game. <laughs> let's have fun. And uh, so that's kind of my philosophy. But uh, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. And to me, the sound, it, it sounds really good. That, that opening Neo Geo screen, eh, that's not perfect sound wise um, but when you're in game I don't really notice a lot of difference uh, with the sound um, and you know I'm capturing the sound on a microphone drug close to my TV so that's <laughs> that's the way way I'm capturing the sound and I have done CRT gaming uh, episodes in the past where I've just played on a CRT and um, I kind of enjoy that sometimes but man it's really difficult to try to get that uh, a really good picture uh, with your camera and it's amazing how different systems look different and you have to make adjustments and um, so that it, but you can put a lot of time into trying to capture a CRT TV with an HD uh, or a webcam you know all right so let's uh, let's check out um, yeah let's check out some shock troopers and for the purposes of demonstration I'm gonna choose easy <laughs> favorite character going lone wolf this game's amazing uh, you can play lone wolf or you can play where you can kind of swap out characters while you're playing uh, which is pretty cool too uh, this is this is kind of an underrated game in my opinion just you know it's uh, one of my favorite Neo Geo games of all time and uh, I don't know that it gets the credit that it deserves um, but you can kind of see how this translates uh, 
very well to a CRT. And there is a little motion blur that my camera's adding to this that, that you don't see uh, in person when you're playing it on a CRT. And you know what? This, this uh, solution isn't for everybody. I completely understand that. I've had a few questions on it, so I thought, you know, yeah, let's, let's do a video on it and um, just kind of show how I do it. And you know, there might be other better ways to do it too. Um, and it, you know, if you have a better way or if you think of a better way, man, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I think anybody watching this video would be interested in that, so uh, let me know. All right, so let's uh, let's check out a little Robo Army. There were some really good beat 'em ups on the Neo Geo, and um, some of them, you know, they they don't get mentioned much when people talk about the Neo Geo. A lot of it's fighting games, and of course, the Neo Geo did fighting games you know, better than any other system, in my opinion. Um, but man, there's so much more that the Neo Geo offers other than fighting games too. And the Mini is a really good, has a good uh, variety in the library. And of course, they're not going to have, you know, it's not going to be packed with everybody's favorite game. And then, and the Mini is actually, you can hack it, but it's different than the Arcade Stick Pro. You actually have to take the Mini apart um, and do it that way and that's not something that I was interested in doing so all right well uh, hopefully this kind of gives you a good idea of what to expect if you're wanting to um, go this route Yeah, this, this is a fun game, and it's a lot of fun couch co-op, of course. Alright, well, hopefully that gives you a good idea. Hey, thanks for joining me today in the Poor Man's Retro Game Room. Thanks for watching this video and sticking it out to the end. I hope this kind of answered some questions for you, and this may not be an option for you. It might not be, uh, you know, it's not for everybody. So hopefully I gave you a little bit of insight anyway if you're thinking about doing this. Uh, but thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.